There are only two major ways to generate audios for your AI storytelling folktale YouTube channel. And the two major ways is one is either you use your voice or two, you use an AI text to speech software. Okay. In this video, I'm going to be showing you two different ways by which you can use your voice easily using the CapCut app. And I'm going to be showing you how to use one of the text to speech app to generate your audio. And I'm going to be sharing with you 10 other softwares that you can use to generate your audios for your stories on your Faceless YouTube channel. So you want to watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss out on any of this important information. If you're new to this channel, you're very much welcome. My name is Rukayat Alimi, and in this series, I am creating videos on how to create a faceless folktale storytelling YouTube channel that you can use to make money. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, I have created some videos in the past. Do well to watch them so that you can have a well-optimized and a properly customized folktale storytelling YouTube channel so you don't miss out on them. All right, all that being said, the first thing we want to do is to generate our script and ChatGPT is going to be helping us with that. Before we start anything, we need a script, right? So the, we want to go to ChatGPT to generate a script for us. And this is the prompt I'm going to be giving to ChatGPT. Write me a story for my Faceless Folktale YouTube channel about a very rich, wealthy woman who got married to a poor man because of his honesty. And the poor man was trying to kill her just so he can inherit her properties. He tried so many ways and failed until he got caught. Make it 3,000 words long and make it interesting, fascinating, and full of suspense. It should also have creative synergy, access to the subconscious, and emotionally evocative. Hmm. Only use simple and easy to pronounce names, villages, and African culture. Okay, so that is the major um, prompt. But I just added this, which is uh, make sure you use simple English a 10-year-old can understand and make it packed with suspense, interesting conflicts, and it should be addictive so that it can keep my audience till the end um emotionally evocative creative synergy and access to the subconscious okay so this is what i'm going to be giving to chat gpt and with this type of prompt chat gpt is just going to help me expand this um story idea you must have a story idea you don't just come to chat gpt and tell it that generate a story for me mm -mm. but give it a detail that it can work with so i'm just going to click on enter and let's see what chat gpt will generate for us so you can see it's generating it and it has given the two of them a name. Can you see that? Can you see this? Well, ChatGPT is done creating this script for us. You can see it is very, very long. So what you want to do is you want to read this, go through it. If it sounds like, if it reads the exact same thing you are thinking in your mind, then copy it. If it doesn't, you can click on this regenerate button right here and regenerate this. It will give you another version of this exact same story. Um, but if you are fine with this, you click on this copy icon right here and copy it. So what I do is I copy it and I go to my notepad. I go to my Google Keep. So this is my Google Keep and I create a new page for this and I paste it. With these, I'm able to read everything at a glance and fully understand what this is all about. So the next thing I want to do now is to generate our voice. I'm going to be teaching you two different methods. You can use your own personalized voice, your own voice to generate this on CapCut. So I'm going to copy this particular one, which is the first paragraph. And I'm just going to copy it like this and add on to CapCut. So let's open our CapCut app. Then I'll click on new project. So this is the first method, which is kind of rigorous. So you want to do well to watch to the very end so that you can get the simplest method to create this audio. So I'll just select um, one image or two images because for you to do this, you have to at least select a picture. So now I have these two pictures that would serve as letting CapCut know that I want to create a video. So what you want to do is you want to send your script to another phone if you have or another gadget or your laptop or you write it down okay you can write it down and once you have that done you click on this audio button right here then you scroll to the side and click on record so once you click on record you tap on this and it begins to count down so the next thing is for you to start reading out your script using your voice and it will record okay if you make any mistake in between do not stop the audio just take a break hmm? take a deep breath and continue so once you are done and you have a very long audio then you can now begin to edit out your mistake and cut out some of the things that is not supposed to be there so once you tap on this 
it will automatically begin to record after the countdown. So I've just recorded something now and I'm just going to click on the good sign and you would see this is the audio down here. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to play it, listen to it. If there's any place that there's a mistake, you can cut it off. So this particular place, you can see at the beginning here, there's nothing said. So I can just move this here and click on the split button. And now I have two different audios and I'll delete that part. But before you do this, what I always love to do before editing anything on CapCut is I tap on this and I scroll to the end here and I click on reduce noise. This is very important. I click on reduce noise and I click on this. Very beautiful village in Africa. Okay. Once I click on reduce noise, the next thing I do is I go back to this and go to volume and I increase it to 400 so that it can be audible enough in a very because you have done this too this too is very important before you start cutting out your mistakes so once you have done it with this you then now listen to it you play it and listen to it wherever there is a mistake you can cut it you can delete the excess you can delete the mistake you can do whatever you like if you do something that you're not supposed to do this is the undo button you can undo it and the likes so all you have to do after this now is to make sure that your pictures comes in to play as in your images your ai generated images comes in at the right time when the audio talks about that particular image by you know you can delete this one if you want if it's not supposed to be but at least an, an image has to be here okay so if you want to add another image you click on this plus sign and go to your phone gallery and pick another image okay so once you are done with that you can add effects and the like so that is not what we're doing in this video so now let me take you to the second method so this second method assumes that you don't have any extra phone you don't have a laptop you don't have a book where you can write your stories so i'm just going to close this and the second method is going to be here right here on CapCut. once you open CapCut, you click on this expand button and you go to teleprompter can you see teleprompter here yes so this is where you paste your scripts that script that you generated <laughs> this is where you paste it so you click on this edit button right here and you paste you highlight this and you paste your scripts okay so once you are done just click on done at the top here okay so you can click on these settings here to know how fast or how slow this will come up you know if you want it slower you you know if you want it faster can you see so it all depends on you so once you are done with that you leave it at that then you come here and click on three minutes so that you don't just do for 15 seconds you click on three minutes so once you click on three minutes you want to click on this record button right here and start recording so this will automatically begin to scroll up while you read so let me quickly do that and show you what the end product will look like okay so now i just successfully recorded the voiceover from the teleprompter and this is going to record for you like a video but you know we don't want to show our face right so you come here and click on edit so once you click on edit it will take you to CapCut and it will want to edit this for you so the first thing you want to do is click on this mm -hmm. then scroll to the side we are going to extract this audio okay scroll to the side scroll to the side scroll to the side and you would see extract audio so you click on extract audio so it would separate the audio from the video so can you see now the video and the audio are separate so now what you want to do is at least add a picture mm -hmm. click on this and we're going to add a picture from our gallery so we're just going to click on this and i want to delete this video because i don't need it so we'll tap on it and we click on the delete button right here and now you just had your audio <laughs> without having an extra phone and the like so now the next thing you want to do is you can see that the video recorded in uh, real size or tiktok size we want to change it to youtube format so without clicking on anything you just click out on an empty space right here then you scroll to the side and locate and click on aspect ratio and you go to youtube size okay which is 16 by 9 and you click on good can you see now that it is back to 16 by 9 so like i said in my um, previous voice notes the first thing you want to do is tap on the audio scroll to the side and reduce noise What's once you reduce time? noise the next thing is for you to increase the volume go to volume and increase the volume to whatever you like i like leaving it at 400 so the next thing after that is for you to look at the mistakes maybe there's a place where you mispronounced a word you took a pause the way i advised and you now did the audio again starting from maybe the last paragraph you did okay so i'm just going to um do this a little and take it back 
and that my friend is how you can create your audio right here on CapCut, the second method okay so once you are done you add all your images and you had everything you are satisfied you've added um, your background sound and so many other things you click on the export option at the top here and you wait for your video to fin fully download onto your phone gallery and this brings us to the third option which is you not using your voice at all we're going to be using an ai voice generation platform the third and final method which is generating your audio using a text-to-speech software there are so many of them in the market um, do well to check them out majority of them have free versions that you can use for a while but at the end of it you still have to pay okay but at least you can get started with the free version first before paying so that is why you should get your script ready and make sure everything is perfect so for the purpose of this video i'm going to be using this tts maker and you can see it is free so i'm going to be using this all you have to do here is paste your prompt right here you can see maximum of 2000 characters that's a lot <laughs> so i'm pasting my prompt here and the next thing is for us to scroll down and choose the language and then choose the voice okay so the language is english which i'm perfectly fine with is already selected then um, we'll pick a voice i want to pick a male voice so you can click on the sample you can see example right here you can tap on it to listen to what it will look like okay you can see default so let's listen TTS to tts maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services tts maker is a professional voice tts maker is a professional voice generator TTS Maker is a professional voice generator. And I'm just going to um, pick this one by tapping on this particular. There's one small circle right here. There's a small circle here. So I'm just going to tap on that. And you scroll up and you fill in this captcha right here, 3087. And we click on convert to speech. Yeah. Let's wait. You can see it's, it's going. It's checking if we are human. Okay. So click here. I am human. And you click on OK. So I'm just going to click on convert text to speech and you can see here it's already converting our text to speech so estimated sign is 100 seconds that should be around three minutes so we'll wait for that once upon a time in the vibrant village of Endebel, there lived a woman named amina amina was the wealthiest person in the village known far and wide for her riches her father had been a successful trader and when he passed away he left all his wealth to amina she lived in a grand house with walls made of sturdy mud and roofs thatched with the finest palm leaves her compound was always bustling with activity from the bleeding of goats to the chirping of birds in the tall trees wow did you just hear that <laughs> this platform is awesome so the next thing is for us to download our audio and we just click here to download our audio and it should download to our phone um file manager or your gallery you should find it in your file manager in the audio section of your file manager can you see it it has downloaded there and you can open it there and then you know do the next thing so can you see once upon a time in the vibrant village of endeavor there lived a so one of the reasons i love this tts maker is the fact that it is free to use and it doesn't require you to sign up or sign in to do this okay so as you can see this is one of the apps this is one of the softwares that you can use to create your audio to speech you can see the name is ttsmaker.com come to capcourt and combine that audio with a picture okay so i'm just going to pick um this picture just for no particular reason just for me to explain to you okay before you can create a video like i explained before you have to have minimum of one picture selected so later you can add um, all other pictures that you have and give them all the effects that you want okay so you can see here that is already prompting me to add an audio so this is the last um, option so you click on add audio and you go to sounds you come here click on sounds so you come to this particular icon this one here you click on it then you click on device you can see extract if you downloaded the audio as a video you can just click on this place and pick the video and just extract the voice from it but we only have a we only have an audio so i'm just going to click on device then i will look for the name of the audio it downloaded so it is tts maker file and it has a date it has a time and the likes and it also has the duration so you can use that to identify the particular audio you are looking for so i'm just going to click on once upon this a time, to play in the vibrant village of Endeavor, there lived a woman named Amina. Amina was the wealthiest person in the village, known far and wide for her riches. So now that we have ascertained that that is the particular audio, we're just going to click on this blue plus sign here. And voila, this has automatically added to our video. So now we can now continue to add our images to it. Okay, so um, in my previous video, I showed you how you could change a square shape video 
um, a square shaped image to a youtube standard size if you haven't watched that video i'll be leaving the link of that video in the description box you can check it out so that is all that has to be done this is the other 10 softwares i promised you at the beginning of the video that you can use to generate your ai audio text to speech so that you can use it to create incredible audios for your ai videos faceless youtube channel storytelling okay so if you got value from this please please and please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you can get notified each time i upload a new video i remain your value queen don't forget to like this video and leave me an awesome comment in the comment section i always love to hear from you if there's anything you would love me to create in the next video please drop it in the comment section and i will do that thank you so much for watching subscription is free please encourage your girl and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video ciao